Welcome to NTN Nightly, I am Janelle Novel. This edition's top stories. St. Lucia has been credited by the World Bank in disaster risk financing. Government through Invest St. Lucia is embarking on strengthening entrepreneurship and health officials encourage members of the public to become blood donors. St. Lucia is leading the region in disaster risk financing. The World Bank Group says the island is the first in the region to have its national strategy approved by cabinet. St. Lucia is also lauded for taking the lead in the implementation of innovative solutions and practices. St. Lucia is no stranger to disasters. The country continues to battle the COVID-19 pandemic, a water emergency, and it has moved to now face the hurricane season. The government of St. Lucia has taken several steps to mitigate the impact of disasters. According to Deputy Director of Financial Administration in the Department of Finance, Matthew Branford, who recently appeared on the COVID-19 Roadmap to Recovery panel series, Disaster Risk Financing, one such step is the establishment of a disaster risk financing strategy. The main objective of this strategy is to assess, reduce and manage fiscal risk due to disasters. So the strategic priorities for the government, Department of Finance, is to build resilience for today and to secure our future by measurably and strategically reducing the fiscal disaster risk. And so we want to maintain a sound fiscal position because without having a good fiscal position, the impact of disasters on your resources are even doubled and, and so on. So, Develop cost-effective and accessible financing mechanism for immediate liquidity. And liquidity becomes important every time there is a disaster because the, the, the requirement for financing to, for relief, recovery and reconstruction activities this becomes very, very important. World Bank Group's Disaster Risk Management Specialist, Mary Boa, highlighted the importance of disaster risk financing, adding that a country must have in place plans for both pre- and post-disaster. Boa explained that the World Bank provides multiple instruments to aid in a country's response to disasters, including grant financing and concessional loan financing. Uh, we also have Contingent Emergency Response Components, or CIRCs, uh, which are a flexible financing arrangement uh, that's added to most World Bank projects, meaning that um, if a crisis happens, the project can immediately reallocate resources to address that need. Uh, St. Lucia, for example, has been able to access two contingent emergency response components uh, in response to its COVID-19 needs through its health system strengthening projects as well as the aforementioned disaster vulnerability reduction projects. Um, we also support CRIF in helping CRIF to keep its premium costs low and build more innovative projects. And most importantly, in addition to grant and concessional financing, we also offer um, a wealth of technical assistance to the region. Caribbean Catastrophe Risk Insurance Facility Chief Executive Officer Isaac Anthony indicated that while the CRIF currently provides insurance to governments, it has been experimenting with offering insurance for individuals. Any individual whose livelihood right, is at risk from, um, let's say, some sort of natural hazard risk. Mm -hmm. And so this particular initiative has had its own challenges, I must admit. Um, we've been working uh, with, uh, in, not just in Lucia, but in Grenada, in, in Jamaica, and, and more recently in Belize, as well as Trinidad. Um, but right now, um, the, the project is now being restructured. And to the extent that CRIF will now assume a leadership role within the region in terms of managing that project. So we think that in, in, the, in the next uh, couple of years that we will be able to offer a package that individuals will find sufficiently attractive to help them manage their, their risk. So th and that would complement very nicely some of what we are doing in terms of course, I've already mentioned course, which is uh, designed specifically for, for the fisher folk. The CEO added that farmers and fisherfolk have been able to benefit from the CRIF in times of disaster. The country continues to make strides in building resilience against disasters, including working towards the implementation and enforcement of a building code to ensure resilience. From the Government Information Service, I am Janelle Norville. 
The Ministry of Health and Wellness has called on all St. Lucians to maintain a healthy lifestyle amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Testing results received on June 16, 2020 indicated 52 negative test results. A total of 1,447 tests have been carried out to date and the recorded number of confirmed cases remain at 19. 18 of those cases have fully recovered. The last positive case was recorded on June 4, 2020, making today the 13th consecutive day that all tests conducted have returned as negative. The chief medical officer urges that as we continue to live and function well within the reality of a COVID-19 environment, protecting our health and well-being has renewed importance. Dr. Sharon Belmar George advises daily physical activity, increasing the daily intake of fresh fruits and vegetables, increasing water intake, reducing stress, avoiding the use of alcohol and do not smoking. These habits together help in building a strong immune system, which will improve the ability to fight off not only COVID-19 infection, but many other infectious diseases. Meantime, the health officials are encouraging members of the public to become blood donors. Anisia Antoine tells us more. Following the observance of World Blood Donor Day, officials from the Ministry of Health continue to raise awareness about the global need for blood donation and how everyone can contribute. Safe blood transfusion can aid patients suffering from life-threatening conditions live longer and can be vital during medical and surgical procedures and emergencies of all kinds. Karen Lewis, senior medical technologist at the St. Lucia Blood Bank Service, explained that whilst safe blood transfusion can save the life of a recipient, it is also beneficial to the donor. Giving blood too is also important for the donor. It stimulates your bone marrow to produce red blood cells. Red blood cells are made naturally every 120 days that's an automatic thing. When you do that, it stimulates your bone marrow to make new red blood cells, fresh new red blood cells, which contains your nutrients, sugars, hormones, circulated throughout the body to your different tissues and cells. For men in particular, it is very important for men to donate. With mm -hmm. women, we have our monthly cycle. Mm -hmm. So the excess iron in which blood contains, we get rid of that in other, mm -hmm. in other sense. For men in particular, since they do not have that, the excess iron sometimes is stored along the walls of the arteries of your liver and your heart. So men in particular have a higher chance at cardiovascular diseases and strokes. When men in particular donate every three months, they ha that decreases the chances of those kind of conditions. Ms. Lewis noted that persons are eligible to donate blood from age 17 to age 70. The senior medical technologist made an appeal to the public to donate blood as the COVID-19 pandemic has caused a reduction in the number of voluntary donors. Mm -hmm. So now with COVID-19, we are limited and I should say seconded to OKEU only. We have not got that OK when we can go to different business places, etc. So we cannot reach everybody, give them that personal one-on-one -on -one attention when we go to courts, when we go to Digicel, when we go to our Sanders chains, we go, when we go to our churches. So most persons, and right now, persons can come to donate at OKEU from the hours of 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Make sure you have a solid breakfast. You can call us in Lucia Blood Bank Service at 4525430 or 285- nine six four two and you can also email us at slubloodbank at gmail.com all individuals coming to donate blood are reminded to wear a mask from the government information service i am anisia antoine reporting the government of St. Lucia through Invest St. Lucia ISL is embarking on strengthening entrepreneurship among nationals with the introduction of the Business Incubator and Accelerator Program. Business incubation and acceleration have been acknowledged as one of the principal means of providing a comprehensive range of business support services that can contribute to the successful establishment of new micro and small enterprises and the growth of fledgling ones. Dave Headley, project coordinator of the St. Lucia Business Incubator Program explains the rationale behind developing the Business Incubator Program. A lot of research and of course 
Um, engagements have been done not only from a number of other key agencies within the ecosystem, but as well as um, engagements with just a lot of entrepreneurs from a number of uh, various sectors within St. Lucia. And like you rightly said, starting off, you really want that guidance and support. Um, and like anything else, and I think Daniel pointed it out, he tapped into his savings. Anybody starting off at, at that point, you find they might not have the financial resources. Um, they, they need some kind of management training. They need that marketing support. Um, they need HR, HR advice. Um, you, you would want to develop a marketing plan to get persons in the market to know about whatever products or services you're offering. And so when we talk about the business incubator and providing that support, these are some of the services that we're referring to. ISL has included the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards, St. Lucia Development Bank, and the St. Lucia Manufacturing Association on a task force that seeks to better assist entrepreneurs. We have engaged everybody who would have impacted or provide some kind of support or development to the entrepreneur at any development stage. Um, so we are in dialogue. Um, in the initial dialogues, we, we got positive feedback. Um, a lot of persons would have loved for the incubator to be up and running. Um, you heard the cries of, of, of the, the young entrepreneurs, but I, I can assure you that um, the engagement is across the board and is really to strengthen all the key players to get that additional support that really will propel them. The project coordinator explained that with the new method of business operations due to COVID-19, the virtual aspect of the incubator program is now of critical importance. Acting Commissioner of Police Milton Daisy has revealed that no police action will be taken against anyone who participated in the Black Lives Matter protest held here on Friday, 12 June. There were public concerns that participants would face arrests following the event, which was not authorized by the Commissioner. Permission for the gathering was not granted due to the Emergency Order Act. There was a commander on the ground who, who saw the need to deal with it in um, in the way that he dealt with it and um, communicated um, to report it to the commissioner after. Um, I know in a clip I um, saw he said that we would um, explore every avenue which may be to arrest. Okay, but um, it remains that um, and the commissioner has taken a decision with that officer indicate that, okay, I am satisfied with the way that he handled the situation and I, call, and I call it the end of it, okay? So I am not going to ask anybody to arrest any, any individual. However, I need persons to know that they committed an offense by, do, by not complying. Acting Police Commissioner Milton Daisy. And this is NTN Nightly. Up next, Primus Hutchinson with the NTN Nouvelle Aquayol. Coronavirus? I am worried, Gasser. It's only old people dying from that. Hold up. Being young does not mean being safe. Yes, it's true that the elderly are at higher risk, but anyone can get the virus. The effect is even worse if you have a chronic condition like hypertension, heart disease, lung disease, and diabetes, or weakness in your immune system. If you are living with these conditions, be extra careful. Wash your hands with soap and water. Use hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol when hand washing is not possible. Avoid touching your face. Take steps to boost your immunity through proper nutrition, exercise, rest, and take your medication as prescribed. Limit being around people who have flu symptoms, even close family members. Our health is in our hands. Together, through simple actions, we can stop the spread of coronavirus. This message was brought to you by the Bureau of Health Education of the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle Aquayol. Monsieur Tajanel, Monsieur Madame, Department of Kinewa's Responsibility for Information and Government Service, GIS and Television NTN, Capuzato Nouvelle and Creole, Presato Primus Hutchinson. Chef Police Service, Milton Daisy, j'ai fait un attempt pour expliquer la situation que les policiers ont pu arrêter un homme après et qu'il a été responsable 
pour encourager, etc., mon public là, pour te participer dans une protestation sans permission. Nous avons une discussion à ce NTN. Chef police désire déclarer que c'est d'y voir monde pour protester, mais ça n'est pas fait à la loi PIA. Alors, depuis, on n'a pas trouvé permission pour protester, police qui a été humilé. Désir fait comprendre que la police tenait pour prendre action parce que la protestation qui prend un coup de finissement c'est maintenant pas tenu permission police. Et d'abord, on a la loi sous coupé à un résultat de maladie corona. Les conchefs police par les pièces de pouvoir pour approuver l'application pour le public là protester. Comme je l'ai dit avant, mon pays a dit qu'il n'y a pas de la loi qui a suivi. Il a suivi si la tenue 20 police en crowd là, la tenue plus qui descend et 300 personnes. Donc nous, nous filons, nous ne voulons pas de la loi 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 et puis police côté police tenir pour servir force pour arrêter personne so um, pour commander en l'air à terre qui te ka um, ouais qui tout bagaille aller bien um, faire plein pour qui manière yo ka arrêter nom ça là pour y pas mener um, pièce des agrémens et puis faire plein et puis arrêter chef police désir marqué qui ça pas une situation côté c'est mon nom qui était engagé dans la protestation, parti au courant et puis loi des activités publiques PIA. Il dit qu'en dit ça, il a participé dans l'action 4 même. Parce que euh, de ces gens qui ont participé, ils ont même ces avocats. So, si vous um, si sous ces avocats et vous ne connaissez pas, ce pas toute loi ou qu'il n'y a ni de tête. Mais vous ne savez pas qui livre pour aller à la et puis pour faire la um, recherche. Qui livre ou qu'il n'y a pas Um, loi en bas um, COVID-19, ou qu'il y ait loi en bas public order act, et qu'il y ait qui ça qui ça pour faire. Et puis, um, moi, je dis que ça nous est point en considération um, dimanche, que mm -hmm. les mêmes noms qui ont été promotés, match ça là, et bien, um, ça a été moto qui de la vie, ni devant te ki di yo police la a di yo pa ni permission yo pa sa ni yo pa sa ni un uh, match talent encore so ale ho mo il dit il dit ça so, mais c'est mon n'a pas et pas sam c'est mon n'a coûté um, conseil yo pété yo pété coûté mais là nan l'autre nom qui vient ni ak di yo côté pour ay pour bus et puis côté pour qui route yo ka y passer en parlant de ça police présente un rapport à ce divers opérations qui ont déjà conduit et puis succès pour l'un des là déjà. Selon Kapoual Anne Edward, qui était parrain et puis chef police désir à son discussion télévision indienne, en ces deux semaines qui passaient, le policeman a saisi trois bateaux et porté plus de comptes qui étaient à bord pour diverses offenses. En parmi ces offenses là, c'était un bateau qui était à bord diverses drogues qui comptent loi criminel pays. Kapoual Edward a rapporté aussi pour l'année 2020. La jani, 21 kamoun ki pedi la vie yo pa ni kos di yon lot moun. An pa mi yo, 13 ja touve attention, 9 ja touve attention, 9 moun ja touve awete, ek kayo douvan, kayo lo jes, des afe kriminal, pa dan de an kasala, ka suiv investigasyon toujou. Kapwal Edward anonsi osi, polis divizyon douak dekove se kat wevolve ek fizi, qui c'était possible, et puis assistance de l'autre division de la police. Kapoual l'a dit aussi, les officiers de sécurité ont facilité la prison de Bordelé, a été trois jeunes hommes, bon nez, qui ont essayé de passer les articles qui ont la loi. En parmi eux, c'était téléphone, mobile, marijuana, en parmi eux, ils ont essayé de faire ça entrer en prison. Ces garçons là se trouvé transportés pour le code de Denry. Kapoual Edward a apporté aussi la division de police des affaires de drogue conduit 300 opérations déjà pour 2020. Il a présenté 74 warrants, il a tenu 37 opérations spéciales, côté 504 articles de amination trouvés saisis avec 24 personnes trouvés arrêtés. La police saisit 321 kg de marijuana, 88,82 kg de cocaine et 6 g de crack. Autorité des affaires touristiques, cette ici, jamais été en course. Ils ont fait son nouveau pour publicité, cette ici, à l'autre pays. 
C'est une initiative du ministère des Affaires touristiques et du gouvernement de la Japon qui a montré le pays de la Sécurité qui a fait qui a encouragé les gens pour visiter. La raison pour ça, c'est que c'est le seul pays à la terre qui a apporté les gens. L'activité internationale des publicités touristiques qui a fait comme c'est le qui a travaillé pour sortir en bas de la maladie corona petit à petit. Par conséquent, la campagne qui a adressé toute la place internationale et régionale en bas de l'initiative. L'activité qui a attouché des millions de consommateurs par les médias sociaux activité la place par service computer à parmi l'autre façon. Activité de publicité touristique, c'est aussi nouveau ça là, qui a présenté et promoté ses plus populaires valeurs touristiques qui est ici en façon naturelle et pour touristes visiter une destination pour vacances. Vidéo a montré toute belle cette ici, qu'on les montagnes des pitons, joli la mer et belle téléphone. Ministre des Affaires touristiques, Honorable Dominic Fede, déclare que comme la terre, qui a ouvert Bayer petit à petit après la dévastation maladie de Corona. Les touristes qui ont cherché et même des nations pour une vacances en la paix. Selon le ministre Fédé, ça c'est une occasion pour cette ici présenter habilité pour une responsabilité à la maladie de Corona et la bonne l'esprit pour implémenter ce qui est fait possible pour, mon, pour tout le monde vivre à la maladie de Corona. Le ministre des Affaires touristiques là, fait comprendre que la vidéo de publicité touristique de cette ci a montré toute valeur paysanne à façon touristique de Guébelté qui a encouragé les étrangers pour retourner et pour cette ci ça établit façon pour ressusciter l'industrie touristique et pour supporter les citoyens pays de cette ci Et c'est comme ça, nous avons une bonne nouvelle, monsieur, mesdames. Je vous remercie pour votre temps pour regarder. Je vous remercie pour votre invitation pour que vous considérer comment vous avez la vie. Je vous remercie pour votre nouvelle à Creole. Et ça, c'est le mon vie pour cette journée. Merci à Pearl Primus. And that brings us to the end of NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I am Janelle Novel.